The four most magical words in the English language are said to be once upon a time. Most of us associate those words with bedtime stories read to us when we were children, and the words gave us permission to venture into intriguing new worlds of our imagination. In my own journey, I've actually found reality to be more intriguing than the imagination. How is it, for example, that when we sleep and our consciousness is withdrawn from our senses, we can still see and smell and feel things much more vividly than when we are awake? And what if we were able to direct that process? Another example is animals who routinely communicate telepathically. What if we were able to get on the same page as them? And why is it that some people who have heart transplants experience dramatic changes in their interests and tastes? What does that indicate to us about the nature of consciousness? These are just some of the themes that I've woven into a new book of short stories called The Astral Traveler's Handbook and Other Tales. It's the first in what I hope will be a whole series of Bedtime Buddha short stories. Now, you don't have to read these stories at bedtime, but if you do, may you have auspicious dreams.